When using the Sage AirTap LC Lift Compatible Patient Repositioning System, please keep the following in mind. Sage AirTap LC is designed to assist with lifting and transferring adult patients. It also helps with patient positioning, turning, and lateral transfers. Place the glide sheet alongside the patient and unfold with the head indicator toward the head of the bed. Align the upper edge of the glide sheet with the top of the patient's head. Place the glide sheet under the patient according to your facility's protocol. Check that the patient is aligned with the head indicator on the glide sheet. Remove wedges if present. With the power off, insert the air pump nozzle into the quick connect valve and make sure it is secure. Turn on the air pump and allow the glide sheet to fully inflate. Using the perimeter handles, line up the patient's hips with the hinge point of the support surface. Turn off the air pump. Once the glide sheet is fully deflated, smooth out any wrinkles. Inflate the glide sheet. With one healthcare provider securing the glide sheet using the perimeter handles, insert the anchor wedge under the patient's thighs, tail first, with the black fabric facing up. Pull the tail through until it is taut. Place the torso wedge at least one hand width away. Turn off the air pump. Check to make sure the patient's sacrum is offloaded. Raise the bed rails. Remember to remove the wedges prior to boosting or transferring patients. To perform a lateral transfer, lower the rails between the transfer surfaces and move the surfaces as close together as possible. Set the sending surface no more than one inch above the height of the receiving surface. Raise the exterior rails. With a healthcare provider on each side, turn on the air pump and allow the glide sheet to fully inflate. Gently glide the patient to the receiving surface. With one healthcare provider holding the patient in place, turn off the air pump. When the glide sheet is fully deflated, slightly separate the support surfaces and raise the rail. Before performing a supine lift transfer, ensure the bar attached to the lift is set up according to the manufacturer's specifications and your facility's protocol. Attach the supine top sling straps to the lift. Then attach the middle sling straps. Attach the black bottom sling straps last. Use the lift to raise the patient above the support surface. Lower the rails on both support surfaces and transfer the patient to the receiving surface. Lower the patient until the sling straps are no longer in tension. Remove the sling straps from the lift and tuck them out of the patient's reach. Raise the rails. Before performing an upright one, upright two, or reclined lift transfer, ensure the bar attached to the lift is set up according to the manufacturer's specifications and your facility's protocol. Place the bed at the healthcare provider's waist level and raise the head of the bed to an upright position. Attach the upright one top sling straps to the lift. Then attach the middle sling straps. When attaching the bottom sling straps, choose one of the following pairs. Always make sure the patient's knees are elevated above the hips prior to lifting. If transferring to a chair, slightly recline the chair, lock the brakes, and raise the footrest. 
Use the lift to raise the patient above the support surface. Transfer the patient to the receiving surface and lower the patient until the sling straps are no longer in tension. Remove the sling straps from the lift. If you are transferring to a chair that has the Prevalon Seated Positioning System, or SPS, ensure that SPS stays in position during the transfer and that the patient is properly positioned on SPS and the chair. Tuck the sling straps out of the patient's reach. When transferring patients using the upright two or reclined options, make sure that the appropriate top straps are used. Follow the same process for lift transfers as demonstrated in the upright one position. To remove linens, turn on the air pump. Starting at the head of the bed, lift the corners of the linen. Gently pull toward the foot of the bed while holding the glide sheet in place. Remove the linen and turn off the air pump. To place linens, tuck the bottom corners of the linen beneath the pillow, glide sheet, and the patient's shoulders. Anchor the top corners of the linen. Turn on the air pump. Gently pull the linen down while holding the glide sheet in place. Anchor the bottom corners and turn off the air pump. Smooth out any wrinkles. If the microclimate body pad becomes soiled, remove it and replace it with a new one. For more information, call or visit our website.